We finally get to ride the Honda Africa Twin. A lot of viewers have asked about the big Honda. It's taken a long time to get a ride. A brief history. The Africa Twin has been around for over 30 years. It began as the XRV 650 V Twin in 1988, a replica of the Dakar winning NXR 750. It was a 750 from 1990 to 2003, then it disappeared. It emerged again in 2016 as the 1000cc parallel twin CRF 1000L. Then in 2020, the engine went to 1100cc along with more electronic gadgetry. There's an adventure sports model with bigger tank and fairing. <laughs> and if you don't like changing gears, there's also an automatic version with Honda's dual clutch transmission. The CRF 1000L was meant to be Honda's response to the Triumph Tiger, BMW GS 1200 and Ducati Multistrada. It aimed to be lighter and more dirt oriented. Weight? Well, the first model didn't seem to be that much lighter than the competition, but reviewers agreed that as a package, the Africa Twin was better off-road. I am no expert when it comes to big adventure bikes, so I spoke to various owners and read a pile of reviews. There is a very strong consensus about the dirt-oriented nature of the Africa Twin. <laughs> and I think Tony Bow would agree. The man is a freak of nature and doing some ridiculous stunts on the big Honda. So many adventure models seem to just be road bikes with a few adventure trimmings. So it's great to have some more off-road oriented bikes available. Where does it fit? Personally, I'd say it's around here on the spectrum for 1000cc and bigger models. Normally, a 21 inch front wheel and lots of suspension travel means a very tall seat height, but the Africa Twin is a very reasonable 850 millimeters, along with a low seat option of 825 mils. Reliability, the usual Honda story. There are plenty of Africa Twins with high mileage now and still going strong. Which brings us to the known issues. Regular viewers will know we like to be critical. So we scoured the internet for regularly reported problems. The 2016 model was a completely new bike from the ground up. So we did find some known issues. From 2018 to 2020, there was a recall due to possible corrosion from fuel tank welds clogging the fuel filter. Some heavier or more aggressive riders reported stiction in the front forks due to the upper bushing wearing the anodized surface. Fork seals occasionally started leaking early. Honda wouldn't fix these under warranty as they claimed this would only happen if the rider was doing wheelies. Hmm. Some riders reported corrosion of bolts, wheels and spokes on earlier models if exposed to salty environments. Honda began coating these components, which solved the problem. In a small number of cases, there were reports of handlebar switches sticking due to dust and water getting past the seals. Honda only rates the rack load capacity as 10 kilograms, so if you plan on carrying a lot of luggage, you may need to strengthen the rear subframe. Honda used alloy brackets for the foot pegs to reduce weight. In a crash, these can break, so you may want to buy stronger aftermarket parts <laughs> if you plan on crashing. Some riders have reported breakages simply with aggressive off-road riding too. Some riders find the stock seat is fine. Others complain about the lack of comfort. There are plenty of aftermarket options around. Earlier models occasionally had side stand and center stand failures due to a weak circlip that wasn't properly heat treated. What about later models? 2020 and 2021 African Twins had a recall due to potential problems with the engine control unit and dual clutch transmission, which affected about 1,600 bikes. Would the Africa Twin suit you? If you spend most of your time on highways and occasionally on a smooth dirt road, you will probably prefer the usual road-oriented offerings. But if you want a super reliable, big adventure bike that is great off-road and still surprisingly good on the highway, then the Africa Twin is definitely worth looking at.